Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome to season two of my filming vlogs. This is where I've been sharing my experiences of what I've seen, learned, and gone through, the ups and downs, my successes, and sometimes my failures, working professionally in the filming industry. I've been appearing in movies, and in commercial, and in TV, as well as when I'm doing singing and songwriting, and going all around Chicago, scouting locations, and filming music videos for my own songs, under the name, of course, of Fuzzy Soul Tiger. So, let's get it started, and be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, press that bell so you can notify every time I drop a new video. Very important. So, let's do this, shall we? And action! What's up, everybody? I want to talk to you guys about clothing options in today's film vlog. Woo! Yeah. Listen, I want to first and foremost give my advice that for anybody wanting to get into the acting business, if you get booked for a gig, they will ask you to bring in three different clothing options. Three. At least that's been the standard for me. And I've made it a habit now that wherever set that I go to, even if it's an independent film and they're not asking me to do that, I do it because I want to fulfill the director's vision of how they see this character since they've already seen me as a worthyable candidate to play it. I want to give them options that best help to fulfill their vision of what they see. Now, you know, all the time when you get on the set, Whatever the final look may be, <laughs> you want to try and capture a picture of it. I mean, you don't want to take pictures of when you're on set and what they're doing actually as they're filming it. That's frowned upon. But what you want to do is at least when you get a moment, see if somebody can, you know, come on and capture a whole picture of you, head to toe, how you look, and save it. When you do that, you're building a portfolio that really helps casting directors, casting people and directors to be able to see that you're a person who can play different types of character, varieties of character. You can play a lawyer, you can play a priest, you can play a police officer, you can play a homeless person, you can play a rich person, you know, or, an, or a sci science fiction alien of some, you know, you wanna give people a portfolio of pictures that shows different looks for different characters that you can portray. It really gives casting people and uh, the directors an opening eye that you are capable of a wide range of characters that you can do and perform. I want to track back though to about three different clothing options that you know I've been used to now as a rule that you should always bring with you to the set.
that's such a pretty cool thing to do because you want to give whoever is in charge of fashion and clothing, you want to give them the option to see what best suits you for whatever character you're about to play. You know, there's been a lot of times that the way that I dress when I come to the set is exactly what they like. And I've carried this big, huge bag on the bus and train with me for nothing, but it's better to have it than not at all. Because sometimes they will say, well, let me see, what did you bring with you? Open up the bag and show them, I got A, B, and C. And then another thing, sometimes the way that I pack my clothes may not be exactly what I expected they were gonna do. They may take a suit from option A, a shirt from option B, and pants from option C. And sometimes they may even bring clothing from their own unit to put on you to fit. You never know, but you don't want to show up to a set with no clothes at all. N not not kind of nude, of course, but don't come to the set without options for them to choose from. That just spells unprofessional, you know? It just does. <laughs> so thanks for taking a listen to my film vlog about clothing options, and I hope this was very helpful to a lot of you out there who are acting hopefuls. Keep tuning in to my film vlogs to hear more of my thoughts and experiences of what I've seen, learned, been through, ups and downs, and <laughs> what I've learned professionally on the set and when I film my own videos, of course. <laughs> Love you all. Subscribe to my channel. Press that bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a video. And I thank you for your support. Chase your dreams and make it a good one.